Oh hi, thanks for watching my video and welcome back to another episode of the Skipper Let's Play. So we have four days left of term, we are doing our final term before we graduate, the girls have just gone to school and my plan for today's video is to completely finish our degree. Oh, toddler's out of shit, Skipper, maybe you could get that. And also I'd like to throw a big garden party for all the family. Oh, someone's thrown a tantrum. Daryl, perhaps you can rebuild that house. Ellie's getting on pretty well as a toddler, to be honest. I was kind of hoping to get her at level three for all of her skills, but she's already maxed out two of them. So she might become a gifted toddler. In fact, Ellie, why don't you tr take another shit? Try and build your potty skills. It's now Friday, we have four days left. That means we should be finishing term on Monday. So Skipper has a couple of classes today. She's got one in two hours and then another one in five hours. But then after that, no class for five days. So we really don't have much to do in terms of attending classes, which means that this weekend we'll be able to throw a little party. Kind of figured, you know, last episode, it'd be good to get all of the gang together. Whole family, just to celebrate how far we've come. And Skipper has definitely come a long way when you consider where she was when we started. You know, fairly young adult, just moved into a small apartment in San Myshuno with her boyfriend. I think about everything that's happened since then. Right, Skipper, go to class, have a great day. And you know what, Daryl, seeing as you don't have a job and you're home alone, why don't you teach your kid some numbers? She could do with developing her thinking skill. Looks like she's almost mastered the potty skill as well. What does Father Christmas want? It's good to hear your voice, Skipper. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know Hilary Laurent a little better as a friend. They seem like good company. Go for it, Grandpa. Get your rocks off any way you can. Oh, Daryl, toddler's hungry. Get her something, will you? Maybe make a few grilled cheeses for the family? Skipper built her fitness skill from cleaning out the potty. You learn something new every day, don't you? Why are you angry? Oh, because you're hungry and tired. I see, I see. I was going to say, if you were angry from peeing on the floor, at least you weren't the one who had to clean it up. Okay, the girls are back from school. Skipper's gone to class. Daryl, your toddler's tired. Pull your finger out your ass and put her to bed. Hey kid, oh even Imogen is an A student now. Good for you guys. So I'm thinking tomorrow we'll throw a party. So we'll have a party on the Saturday and then on the Sunday Skipper can do her term paper and her presentation. And then on Monday we'll take our final exams. But you don't have any plans for this evening Skipper so why don't you do your homework? And the girls, they can play a game together. Try and get them closer together. They In the last episode, they went from disliked to friends. So I'm pretty happy about that. So let's see if we can build on that relationship a little bit more. Right, I think everyone's a bit tired. So let's just get everyone to bed. Oh, Barbie's calling. Stop asking me to try for a baby. This is like the 10th time. No, you just had a baby. Ha, huh. Skipper's got a decreased woohoo drive from her birth control. <laughs> Right, Darren, Pickle is hungry. You better give her some food. Wait, where's Emily? What's Emily doing? Oh, nothing. She's just being a good kid, cleaning up. Okay, Skipper, you didn't quite get the chance to finish all your homework last night, so let's just do the last of it, and then we'll get ready for our party today. It's a cold spring day, so we're going to celebrate the cold weather with a barbecue. Oh, wait, no. It's warm. Perfect. For some reason, barbecues, when the weather is overcast, really reminds me of home. That's kind of what we do in the UK, because it's usually cold all the time. That as soon as it's like, you know, still jacket weather, but not pissing it down with rain, that means it's a good time for a barbecue. Let me just double check something. Class in three days, class in four days, four days, three days. Okay, perfect. So we have no more class until we go in for our final exams. All right, homework's done. Now we do have, I was thinking maybe like 12-ish we could have a barbecue. So why don't we all just cozy up and watch Lost Dog's Journey, yeah? As a family, we'll all cozy up on the couch in our pajamas and watch a nice movie. Guys, come on, we're having mandatory fun. Get on the sofa. Don't you want to know what happens to the lost dog? I know I do. 
Just saw Skipper was thinking of Barbie there. Don't know what it is about dogs that reminds her of Barbie. The obvious thing to say would be thinking of Barbie because Barbie's such a bitch. But in this case, it's not even a joke. It's true. She is a bitch. Oh, that was nice, wasn't it? Squeezing in a little bit of cozy time. What do you want? I think Eileen is pretty cute. Should I ask her out? Why am I your date counsellor all of a sudden? Go for it. Leave me alone. All right, let's plan a social event. I hope I get to invite everyone. I think I know too many people. It might exceed the limit of guests I'm allowed to have, but we'll see. Just want to have everyone get together. Why are you taking so long to plan this social event? <laughs> Let's just have a house party and I'm not going to make it a gold event because this isn't, this is just to have a get together. That's it. So we will host 15 maximum. Well, let's see what we can do. So we'll have the girls, Stacy, obviously, Christy, Midge. We'll invite Lola, sure. Teresa, Barbie, Ken, the kids. Oh, I can't invite, um, so I can't invite the toddler that Barbie has. And I can't invite Cole. I guess she didn't know Cole. And we'll just do it at home. Perfect. Right, Daryl, get on that grill. Make some burgers. And then Skipper, maybe you can change the tunes. Oh, you look very dressed up. Lovely. You could change the tunes to maybe Backyard. Oh, is that Stace? What are you doing? You don't need to cook. Daryl's grilling. You don't need to worry about any of that. Why don't you get everyone into the garden and we'll dance? Oh, there's Teresa. Nice to see you complaining about the state of my house. Bit fucking rude after I've invited you as a guest, but fine, you suit yourself. Oh, Christy's here. Looking fabulous in your undies there, Christy. Acting like a dolphin. Seems a lot of my guests are running late. Okay, we got some burgers. Let's call everyone to the meal. What? Now, I'm delighted you recommended I spend time with Hillary. I was amused the entire time. Good for you, couldn't give a shit. Right, let's just get everyone to grab a burger. Oh, there's Midge. Midge has turned up as well. Did you guys ever get that baby in the end? I'd love to know. I might just ask her if she has children. I'm assuming then she'll tell me if they got one or not. Ask if Midge has children. There we go. Oh, she's happy from bringing friends together. I know she's talking about Father Christmas, but I prefer to think that she's thinking of this little get-together here. Oh, still, we got some latecomers. Lola's turned up. Barbie and Ken are making their way over. Well? Yes, I am a parent. I have two children. Oh, Midge, congratulations. Don't tell Barbie that. She'll stop taking her pill. Speak of the devil, look who's turned up. Here she is, star of the show. I'm going to have to take a look at some point and see what those two, what they got. If they got twins or if their twins are toddlers now. I don't know, it's been a few days. Right, I'm just going to quickly form a group just so I can get everyone doing the same thing. Let's just all sit together in the backyard because I kind of figured, you know... Skipper and Daryl are pretty low-key. They're not really into having massive parties or anything. Although Skipper's now decided she's going to become a fridge for the rest of her life. Yeah, they're pretty low-key. They're probably not going to throw like a massive wedding ceremony. So I figured probably the type of thing that would fit their character would be to just have a get-together and just think, well, you know what? All the people we love are already here. Let's just get married. Let's just do it in the garden. No fuss. And I think Skipper maybe knew that that was coming because she's she's looking lovely. Come on over, Daryl. Oh, no one is paying attention. Everyone's just doing their own shit. <laughs> oh, whispering sweet nothings at the aisle. What a beautiful wedding. Oh, what a beautiful ring. We should celebrate with a burger. Why is Barbie crying? Cause cause it's not all about you. Is that it? Is that why? Yeah, that's why you're throwing a strop, isn't it, Barbie? She's still angry at me because this Let's Play is about her sister. She's been off with me ever since the first episode. Well, I'm having a great time, but you know what? This party is going to end soon. So, get the drinks out, girl. Pour a drink platter. Get everyone slaughtered before they go home. Let's go. Keep going till we get the last one standing. Why are you doing the washing up? I told you to pour drinks. Now is not the time for cleaning. Listen to me. 
Oh my god. Just put them on the floor. The party's going to be over soon. You're going to have just served the platter and then everyone's going to be like, right, see you later. Where are you going now? Just put them on the table. Why are you so inefficient? Right, call to grab a drink. Come on, everyone. Take a shot before you leave. Be rude not to. Kids? Oh, everyone's going. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> yes! Barbie's not going to turn down a drink. Of course she isn't. Right, cheers, everyone. Oh, I'm happy. At least we all got to have a shot. So I guess now we'll just wait for everyone to slowly leave. And you know what? I might just hire a one-time maid. Because I can't really be fucked with all this. One-time maid, please. You can come clear up the mess from this party. Why are you dazed? Still from... Oh, decreased woohoo drive. Why would that make you dazed? The maid will come over Monday. Oh, for fuck's... Right, cancel the maid. Oh, do you still have loans? Do you still have student debt? Let's pay off the... We'll pay off the rest. Has everyone left? Oh, Barbie's still standing. She's the only one still standing. Everyone else has gone home. She's the only guest still here. <laughs> right, it's been a long day. Let's all go to bed. Oh shit, it's one o'clock. Skipper, I've been loosening the leash for too long. You need to go write a term paper. University. Come on, you gotta work, bitch. Okay, well, it's already like 5 p.m. She spent four hours just writing the term paper. I'm a bit worried about time, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll work through the night if we have to. Okay, perfect. Term paper done. Not now, Clement. Okay, and then once you've finished submitting your term paper, you can come capture information. Is it done? Yes, okay, perfect, perfect. How to think about emotion. You kids better start thinking about going to bed. So what's our exam situation? So we have an exam at 11 a.m. And then what time is our other exam? 3 p.m. Okay, so we can just give our presentation. Well, we could give it at 8 a.m. really, couldn't we? And then we might even have time to pop over to Midge and Christie's and meet their, I guess, twins? Unless they just adopted one after the other. Okay, it's 8 a.m. The girls are going to school. Emily, uh, not Emily. Skipper, go and give your final presentation. Also, even though she's crying, check out who maxed out all of their toddler skills. That's right. Now stop crying. Hurry up, Skipper. Go and give your final presentation. Hopefully she's back in time for her first exam. I think she will be. Okay, great success. You gave your final presentation and you have your exam soon as well. I think she went to just go throw up in the bathroom because of how nervous she is for her final exam. Right, go to your exam. Good luck. Why are you walking all the way to the other side now? I deliberately put you over here because you always go that way. Okay, Skipper, you've got about two hours before class, so I suggest you pay the bills and get the mail. Okay, last exam ever. Good luck. Hey, ladies, did you have a good day at school? Oh, look at them, little best friends little best friends. Although one of them's obviously done something wrong because the option to apologize has come up. Skipper, you're back. Well done. No more uni. Let's take a trip to Midge and Christie's and visit their newborns. Or maybe they've adopted children. I don't know. Oh no, I think they are newborns. Knock on door. Oh wait, Midge is pregnant. How the fuck? What happened there? Midge, have you been playing away? And you... Already have two babies. What have you got? Well, she's crying under the bed, so trouble in paradise? So they have a baby girl called Eloise. Are they having a row? Midge, what have you been doing? And they have a baby called Terry. <laughs> oh, how funny. I wonder if I can check using MC Command Center. Oh, okay. Well, she's pregnant with a boy and her partner is Christy Montgomery. That's good. That means that they have done, like, artificial insemination or something. Which my Sims can do because I've got Woohoo Wellness installed. Oh, well, that's great news then. But seriously, though, guys, I suggested you have a baby and you guys went a bit crazy. Three at once. Well, it was nice to see you and meet little Eloise and little Terry. I think it's time I head off now. Bye. <gasps> Final grades, A plus. Oh, yes. Oh, that is brilliant. So if I pull up Skipper's sim profile now. Yep, psychology degree. There it is. 
Well, congratulations, Skipper. I would say let's go to the graduation ceremony, but the university graduation ceremonies are a pile of shit anyway. There's literally no point going. So on that note, I'm going to end this video here. What a journey. I'm sure this is not the last that we'll see of Skipper, though. I'm sure we'll see her again. I'm thinking about doing another Let's Play with the in the Barbie universe. Probably in a little while, though. I'll probably take a bit of a break um, after this one. But I'd quite like your input. I think maybe the next video will be focused around like a teenage Let's Play. So I want to know, and I want you to let me know in the comments, what would you prefer to see a teenage like high school Let's Play with Emily, or would you prefer to see one with Barbie? Like back in time kind of thing. Let me know in the comments. But for now, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.